This is Twit. Larry in Kerrville, Texas. Hello, Larry. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Thanks for hanging on. Hey, Leo. How are you doing today? I am well. How are you? Very well, thank you. I'm one of those tech guys working from home, and I love it. I love it. Because you're, like me, you prefer machines to humans. Is that right? <laughs> that's, what, that's one um, disadvantage because you don't have any uh, human interaction. Right. But, uh, but see, I don't need that. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm fine. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't get published on AARP. Oh, you heard you heard that story. I was that was off the air, but you you were on hold. Oh, it's no big deal. I just couldn't figure out exactly what they wanted, so I just you know that's fine. You know, I started uh, doing this many moons ago in the late seventies, writing articles for magazines now long gone, like Byte and InfoWorld, uh, and I always enjoyed it. The main reason I started writing though was because I loved technology, but I couldn't afford it. So it was yeah. a way for me to get review units of stuff or software for free to support my habit and get paid a little bit so I could buy stuff I needed. Yeah. And that's what happened, and now here I am. Here you are. Yep. Well, I have a question for you. Yes, sir. Yesterday I was reading uh, an article about a widget by the <laughs> name of Extra PC. Extra and PC. Extra. And what did Extra PC claim to do? What they have is a USB drive with a Linux operating system yes. on it. Yeah. You put it into your device or your computer, reboot it from your USB. You bet. And it is supposed to override your existing uh, OS on your uh, PC and uh, run Linux. your apps yeah. it, under Linux. It becomes Linux. Uh, and this is uh, it's xtra-pc.com. And it's a clever idea. Fortunately, they don't charge a lot for it. A 16 gigabyte stick is 35 bucks. But if you've got a USB key lying around, you can make one of your own for free pretty easily. Oh. And the reason is all they're doing is put Linux on a bootable USB drive. And it won't work with every computer, but if your computer can boot to an external USB device, and most any computer in the last 10 years probably can, then it, you just you reboot your computer, you go into setup, and you'd have to do this with the extra PC too, and tell it, boot to the USB device. F at least check to see if there's a USB device. In the old days, you might remember your computer, you could say, check the floppy first, and if there's no floppy in the drive, boot to the hard drive. Remember that? And your computer, you turn it on, it would go, eh, 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 as it checked the floppy, and then it would start. Well, this is kind of the same idea except there's no more floppy there's a usb drive though and it so it checks it if there's none there if you don't have anything in this in the slot it'll just go and start up normally so it's not an unusual thing for people to set up their computer that way when you put that usb key in what happens is linux starts up most versions of linux which is a free open source operating system i love i'm sitting in front of a linux computer right now i'm a big fan most uh linuxes are not only free but offer this live boot process where if you put it properly on a USB key, and this is the only trick, this is the thing Extra PC does that you could do, but I'll tell you how in a second. Then you can, when you start your machine, it'll boot up a full Linux with everything running. It's a good idea to do this yourself at first, if only to see that it works. Then you don't have to say, oh, it didn't work on my system and send it back to them to get a refund. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I would suggest you do is download my the favorite Linux for doing this is something called Pop OS. So you go to it's from a company called System76.com/pop, and they even have instructions on how to make a USB key. You'll download it on your machine. You're going to download something called an ISO file, which is you know a a computer file that is essentially the contents of a USB key or CD-ROM. It actually really originally comes from CD-ROMs. And you're going to use a little program. On Windows, I recommend a program called Rufus. It's free to write that contents of that ISO file to the USB key. Most Linuxes will fit in a tiny USB key. Two gigabytes is usually enough. So use Rufus, rufus.ie. Open up the ISO file that you get from Pop OS. 
put in a USB key, say, put it, now be very careful, you want to say, put it on that USB key, not in your internal hard drive, you don't want to overwrite yeah. your internal hard drive, put it on the USB key, tell your computer, next time you start, boot that USB key, now you're running Linux. Now, Extra PC probably does some changes to the Linux so that, for instance, it saves to the USB key, um, they may even have it set up so that it can run some of your Windows programs, because that's the number one problem people have with doing this is Linux is not Windows. So without a little extra help and a little configuration, it's not going to run Microsoft Office. On the other hand, there are almost always free programs that do the same thing. On Linux, for instance, instead of Microsoft Office, we use LibreOffice, L-I-B-R-E. -E. Yeah. You're familiar with that? And am, yeah. it does everything Microsoft Office will do. So Extra PC is not really doing anything too special. They're doing a little configuration, I imagine. I've not tried it, but just reading what they do. A little extra configuration to the Linux that they're booting up. But they're basically putting a free operating system on a USB key. Yeah. And you plug it in and you boot to it. And there you go. A lot of people do this if they want to continue to use Windows on their main machine, but for banking or something they want to be more secure with, they'll use the Linux PC, uh, a USB key, and boot to that, and then do their banking, and then un reboot and go back to Windows. That's a reasonable wow. thing to do. Or if you're running an old version of Windows, like anything before Windows 10 that isn't getting updated, another reason you might, might want to do this. And Pop! OS and all of these Linuxes, I don't know if Extra PC will come with this, but there is on the desktop a button that says Install Linux, which will then, if you like it and everything works and you're happy, install it on your computer and wipe out Windows, which is oh, wow. pretty much what I do to every Windows PC. I really am not a fan. I might want to try it on my personal PC, but I don't think I want to do it on the uh, on our corporate PC. No, no, no. Not a, in fact, you probably can't, but... But you probably can boot to the USB key on the corporate PC. It won't change anything. Sometimes yeah, Windows, modern Windows PCs have security settings, and extra PC would walk you through this also, that you have to turn off in order to boot Linux. Um, basically, it's, it's called boot security, uh, and you just turn off the boot security, which says, you can only boot Windows on this machine. What are you doing? Oh, you're making me crazy here. I can't boot Linux. That's dangerous. It's not dangerous. It's fine. So I just you turn off the boot security. You uh, and you know run this system. It's not going to modify your system at all. It's just a temporary thing. And and when you're done with it, move on. I like it. An extra PC is an easy way to do it if you're willing to spend a few extra bucks to do it.